What's going on guys? Today we're going to be spray painting a gun. Uh, this is one of my rifles that I put together. I got a different lower for it and then I was like, well, now it doesn't match. So here we are. Let's, uh, let's get started. All right, so there's a couple things you're going to need, obviously, to spray paint a gun. Um, number one, in case you don't know, definitely should put down some cardboard. Uh, otherwise, you'll end up uh, with a, a ticked off wife or mom or uh, whatever you all have. Um, spray paint, you're going to have a couple different types. I've got the uh, Rust-Oleum. I've just been using this stuff for everything that I've been doing. Uh, their camouflage line, it's not coming out in multiple different colors, obviously. Uh, but it does come out in a very matte finish um, that uh, does not reflect and does pretty well under night vision as well. Um, then a darker color of the same thing. This is more of like a, a sage color, or I guess uh, OD green, and then that one would be sage. And then I've got like a flat dark earth of the same thing. So all of them Rust-Oleum. Obviously you don't have to have Rust-Oleum for everything, but uh, it's just the stuff that I grabbed at the store. I know they sell it at Walmart and Ace Hardware and a couple other places. Sorry, the bugs are bothering me out here. All right, guys, for the rifle itself, um, obviously you see the upper has already been rattle canned once before, uh, lower here, and the majority of the other parts on it are not. So I'm going to be painting all of this stuff. A um, couple things you're going to want to do. You're going to want to masking tape, use masking tape on all of the different parts that you don't want painted. So Probably you're gonna want your numbers on your optic brightness dial. You're gonna want your objective and ocular lenses of any optics you have here. And then you're also going to want to tape off your muzzle device, especially if you're running a suppressor. Um, you just don't want paint going in the barrel, messing up the bore, the crown, anything like that. Obviously, a lot of it, if you did do that, would probably get shot out, but Still not a good practice. And I also prefer to tape off the trigger shoe just so that it doesn't get all nasty and gross, but you don't have to do that. You're also going to either want to insert a magazine in here, or you're going to want to use um, masking tape, shove a ball of masking tape in there, so you don't end up, end up with paint on your bolt carrier. All right, one thing I definitely would recommend doing is taping over the rubber butt pad on your stock because that paint will transfer off really quickly and that'll usually end up on your clothes. Uh, and depending on what you're wearing to the range, that can present kind of an issue when you go to do laundry. So if you're wearing camo, not really an issue, but if you're running, um, you know, so you go to the range and you're wearing a white t-shirt, that's a mistake. But if you did, all that paint on that rubber on your butt, butt pad of the stock is going to come right off onto you. So definitely recommend taping over that. That's what I'm going to do. It's just one thing I've found. Lay it down, let it tack up a little bit here, and then we'll go from there. All right, now for the second coat, I'm gonna use some tan. This tan is going to go diagonally across. Uh, I'm gonna go forward, diagonally, doesn't really matter which way you go, but yeah, I'm just gonna go diagonally across it, uh, draw in some cool kind of lines. So I'll start here. Got you know, kind of light, dark, light, dark, all the way across. Flip it over. There we 
go. Light dark all the way across. And then we'll do just a little bit of the sage color, that lighter green, just as an accent. And then we'll uh, go for our pattern. Here we go with the sage color. I'm not gonna go too heavy with this. And then what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this piece of 550 cord across the top and then hit it with some dark. See if I can get some cool lines going on it. line pattern going on there and then we'll hit it with a different color doing the same thing again trying to lighten it up just a little bit I'm probably gonna go tan for that one and uh, then we'll be done right now I'm gonna hit it with quick dusting of this darker stuff again All right, and we'll flip her around one more time same deal on this side 